Keanu Jr. and welcome to your second video in my four part Science of the Game video series. In the first video you saw one of my favorite and uh, most effective escapes from Psy Control and in this video we're going to talk about transitions. If you've ever trained with a higher level ranking person um, a lot of times you can have that feeling like man the, the guy's just so fast all right you can never catch up they're always one step ahead all right this is the ability to understand what your next best move is going to be and be able to transition into that move before the other person ever has a chance to catch up. That's what transitions is all about. Okay, um, this is what really separates the highest level people, um, you know, from the the more average people. You know, like the difference between a, a black belt and a purple belt is their ability to chain their movements together. So where if you make one mistake you're never able to come back from that mistake. And that's jiu-jitsu perfection. All right? We have to remember that jiu-jitsu is just like a game of chess. If you make one mistake, you could be checkmated 10, 12, 15 moves away, and there's nothing that you can do about it. All right? Because the, the other person um, is so sharp, they're at that level where they're going to always stay one step ahead and know exactly what you're going to try to do next. All right? So one of the most important transitions for you to understand is the transition from a sweep to a pass. All right? There's tons of different transitions that we could talk about, but this is one of the most important and one of my favorite ones um, to go over with people. Okay? So with every sweep, you're going to land in a position where you should have a very natural guard pass uh, loaded up and ready to go. And if you apply that pass immediately, the other person will never have a chance to get their guard game going and you will continue to stay one step ahead. And from there, you'll be able to you know, pass and then go right into your submission or whatever your go-to attacks are going to be. All right? Maybe you might have to start a passing combination series. All right? The, the uh, combinations could be endless. Okay? Um, but I'm going to go over with you guys one of my favorite sweeps and talk about how this puts us in a position to do one of my favorite passes. And pretty much every time now when I do this sweep, I know that I'm going to be able to pass and get the mount position and, and eventually be able to get my submission. All right, Because I was able to do that sweep, I know we're gonna, where we're going to land, and I know exactly how I need to move to stop him from getting his guard game going and allow me to always stay one step ahead. And you can do this with any of your favorite moves just by understanding where you're going to land and starting to chain it together into your pass game. All right, so let's take a look. We're going to start in one of the most common passing positions. Okay, you guys, a lot of you actually know this as the headquarters. Okay, um, this is a position where I like to, you know, start off my passing, and I teach a lot to my students. And uh, you know, when someone approaches me this way, it's very important that I set up my proper grips so I don't find myself behind before I ever have a chance to get going, all right? Now, because he has his right leg forward, and he's, most of his passes are going to be looking to go to his left, all right? I want to dominate his left sleeve, okay? So whenever someone approaches me like this, and they start to look for my leg, here I like to hold their ankle, keep myself at a little bit of an angle, and look to break this grip off, this, off my pants right away. So I'm going to grab his sleeve, and kick my leg and break that grip off. You notice when I'm at an angle, I have room to do this. If I'm too square, it'll be really fast for him to stuff my foot down and start to make life really hard on me, okay? So I'm gonna keep myself at a little bit of an angle, immediately get this sleeve, kick and break that grip off, and then circle my leg to the inside. From here now, I can also start to apply my De La Hiva on his front leg. Now, I've at least slowed him down a little bit. I'm not in any immediate danger here, okay? So, from right here now, I'm in a great position to be able to extend him and sit up around his leg. So my foot is going to go more from his hip down to his uh, thigh and knee area here, and I'm going to extend him back, okay? At the same time, maintaining control of his ankle. This is going to isolate this leg here, keeping that right in front, and allow me to be able to sit up and start to work my sweep game. Okay, so I keep that there. Now, very important, as I sit up, I'm not going to take my foot off the thigh. This is one of the most common mistakes here. Okay, my foot's going to stay on the thigh all the way until I manage 
to get up and hug his leg. Okay? If I let go of that as I sit up, he's going to step that leg forward, and now he's going to be in a position where he could try to cross knee pass right away. So it's very important that whenever I sit up, my foot stays on that leg the whole time. So I extend, sit up, it's still there, and my arm is going to transition from the ankle to around his leg, above my leg, here. And right away, I'm going to look to feed that sleeve to my hand. Okay? So let's look at this transition from the side. He's approaching me. Immediately I stay on my side. Sometimes I'll kind of hug the, the leg like this, okay, instead of holding just the ankle. Here, get that sleeve. Immediately break the grip off my pants. Bring my leg to the inside. And now I can adjust and get to my daily heel position. Okay, here I have a strong uh, guard game where I can still work my attacks and neutralize his passing for the moment. From here now, I'm going to extend and look to sit up. My hand's going to go from the ankle, around the leg, above my leg. And immediately, I'm going to look to feed this sleeve. Once I get the sleeve into my hand, I can adjust my position a little bit. I can use my hand on the mat. I can take my foot off his thigh for a second. Here, get into a more comfortable seating position. Now, from here, any way he moves, I can stick with him. If he tries to step around here, I'm going to move with him. Okay. I don't want to find myself getting smashed or pushed backwards. So if he's bringing a lot of weight here, I'm going to adjust myself, keeping myself just outside of his knee. All right, that way it's not pushing against me and I, and I get uncomfortable. Okay? If I have any problems feeding this sleeve, if he's up really tall, then I'm going to mess with him more with my foot here. No one was going to like that foot right there, and he's most likely going to try to push it down, in which case when he brings his arm down to push my leg, I'm going to be in good position to be able to make the feed. All right? If he's holding my pants, once I make that feed, I can kick his grip off my uh, pants. I'm keeping good control. Okay? Now I'm, I'm all set up. I don't need to spend too much time here. As soon as I make this grip, I'm ready to go. So now my next grip is going to be a deep grip here around his back, okay? If I can get this much, this is what I'll take. If he's a little, little taller, then I'll just grip into the collar here, just like this. Now, I'm going to apply a steering wheel motion, just like this, and I'm going to trip out his leg again, okay? So I'm going to bring my foot back to his knee and thigh, all right? So it'll be there a little bit in the beginning, then I can take it off and adjust myself, and then after I get my grips and I'm ready to sweep, I'm going to put it there again. Okay, now from here, I'm going to turn to my right side. So I'm going to take my left leg, kind of push off the mat, steering wheel, extend my leg, and, and sit to my elbow here on my right side. Okay, so now I'm on my elbow, and I'm ready to look to come on top. Okay, now from here, take a look at how we land. Okay, I just knocked him over. Both of his legs are facing the same direction. I want to keep this sleeve grip, keep the collar grip, and I'm going to immediately look to bring my left leg in between his legs. All right? All my uh, pressure passing uh, owners out there, the guys that know my pressure passing system, will recognize this position as the side smash. One of my favorite passing positions, and this is the perfect transition for me to come on top and keep his, his legs neutralized, all right, and not allow him to get his, game, his guard game going. So I'm going to transition straight into the side smash, okay? Now, even if he was, you know, fast and strong and, you know, had a quick recovery from the sweep and he started to face me, okay, and get his legs back out and into me here like this, as long as I maintain this sleeve grip and I have this arm around his knee, as much as he wants to bring his leg out, he's not going to be able to. My arm's blocking him. So from here, I could just bring a little bit of my weight onto his leg and then use my shoulder to drive it back over. So there's literally almost no way he's going to stop this transition, okay, when I come on top. Even if he tries to keep that knee out, I can use my shoulder, my weight, to drive it back over. Once I get my knee in between his legs, I can let go of that sleeve and bring my arm around his lower back, okay, using my elbow against his lower back and hit keep him from shrimping away. All right. Now I'm going to start to really apply my weight. I'm going to use my chest driving into his shoulder here. 
I'm going to use my knee pushing against his thigh just like this. You see how I kind of stretch him with my left knee against his thigh? And now I'm going to open up his arm, bring my knee into the armpit, control his head, and float into the mount position. Okay? So on this side, I bring my knee in the middle, control the back here, apply my weight, use my knee against his thigh, open up this arm, knee inside the armpit, control the head, float over into the mount position. Okay? So let's look at this whole sequence one more time. So immediately I get my angle, break that grip off my pants, legs inside, establish my daily heva, extend, sit up, immediately feed this grip. Adjust myself, keep myself in good position, look for the grip. The deeper I can get, the better. Foot on the thigh, angle, steering wheel, trip them over, immediately bring that knee between the legs. Control. Use your side smash, apply your weight and pressure, open, control the head, we go to the mount, now we're ready to finish. This is one of my favorite sequences. If you do all this properly, this will give you nine points, two for the sweep, three for the pass, four for the mount, you're in the best position possible, you stay one step ahead the whole time, and you're ready to finish them from right there, all because you were able to attack that sweep and he made the initial mistake. Rafael's looking up for the double wrist grab. Kimura set up. Let's see how he finishes this. Caron's arm is trapped, you guys. This is very dangerous. Here comes a brute hip release. Dangerous. He has to tap. That's it. Wow. Wow. He deserves a celebrate. Incredible.